So a Democrat who is the head of a proclaimed sanctuary city blasting his own party over the border crisis. New York City Mayor Eric Adams under a lot of pressure lately to deal with the nearly 10,000 migrants who have been bussed in from the southern border. Adams' initial solution was to build a tent city in AOC's district in the Bronx to house them. She didn't like that too much. Ocasio-Cortez voiced her concern that it was in a flood zone. The, then Adams caved to her demands, and now it's being moved a few miles away to Randall's Island. The mayor now calling out both sides over this crisis. Uh, the far right is doing the wrong thing, and the far left is doing nothing. I mean, everyone needs to be in this game. Everyone should be on all hands on deck. Everyone. Not sitting back and throwing rocks. A rock is not a plan. Everyone should be on deck helping this crisis right now. Okay. Uh, Janine, let me start with you. Um, I remember Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez going to the border, and she was practically in tears about the toilets that were sinks, right? Now she is the mistress of NIMBY. She's yes, like, I not in my backyard, not okay? Backyard. Do not let these people... I am so blown away by the hypocrisy of this story, whether it's Martha's Vineyard exactly. or New York. I don't care. I, that's not, I'm not even taking a side. Just stand by what you say, right? If you believe that these people are mistreated, you should be rolling out the red carpet in the Bronx and making sure that you are taking excellent care of them. You see, but that's what we were talking about in the A Block. It's the same thing. You know, right now you've got the hypocrites who are like, we love all the immigrants, but don't you dare bring him to the Bronx. Don't you dare bring him to Martha's Vineyards. Don't you bring him here or there. And by the way, the ones coming to New York City that Mayor Adams is complaining about are coming from a Democrat city in Texas from a Democrat mayor who's sending them to New York City. You don't hear Adams complaining about him who has sent more of this Democrat mayor to New York City than Governor Abbott. You only hear him criticize Governor Abbott. Yeah. This is what I'm saying. It's all all about an ideology. We want the power. We want to have the ability to get in office. So therefore, we will be silent because they will vote for us. We will give them education, medication, housing. We'll give them a phone. We're going to give them housing and whatever they need to be Americans. We're going to shake their hand when they show up. But don't you dare, don't you dare ask someone in the military to not be vaccinated, but we'll shake your hand if you're coming in from a southern from the yeah. southern border. Jesse, I, I love that whole setup with the, you know, people getting off the bus and the handshaking and they get some sort of little package in a, in a baggie. And then it's like, yeah, but you can't, you, we're going to put you in a tent, yeah. right? 10,000 people in a tent, um, but everybody's going to be pushing. Randall's Island, you know what they do in Randall's Island? People play baseball, soccer. Yep. Um, it's full of playgrounds and fields. Uh, so apparently this is where the migrants are going to be living. Yeah, Randall's Island or Martha's Vineyard. I don't know. If I had to choose, I think I'd know what I'd choose. So Randall's Island, not only do they have sports facilities for young kids, they have a wastewater treatment facility and True. an insane asylum. Now they're adding a tent city for migrants. And AOC says, not in my backyard. Well, maybe if she hadn't killed 100,000 jobs from Amazon, they might have had something to do for work. So she doesn't want it there, but she doesn't have a plan either. So what is the plan? We're going to have freezing illegals on an island yeah. in a couple months trying to escape into the East River. We're going to have to recover them and pull them back in. How is that sane? Nancy wants to send them down to Florida to go pick crops. Is that legal? I thought you weren't supposed to hire illegals, but Nancy says now you can hire illegals. Joe doesn't have a plan. You can't say anybody that illegally comes across the border is an asylum seeker and not have a, a system in place to suction up the entire southern hemisphere you know, South America into our country. There's no plan in place for this system. Harold, if, if it's a sanctuary city, shouldn't we have a program in this city where there's some kind of temporary employment or something? Because these people are going to not have anything to do, and it's going to get ugly quickly in these tents. I think it. I think you're exactly right. I think the way you led into this was, was spot on as well. And I, and I think the person who really framed it right was the mayor. I mean, the Republicans are great stunt callers and doers, and I think it's a clever move. Democrats are missing in action and earn denial. And in fact, our vice president, who is in charge of this, has not, uh, if she has a plan, she's certainly not sharing it with anybody. Look, I I've said for a long time, th this, is a, this is an issue that screams out for a solution, and it's one that we could probably develop around this table, as we always do in commercial break, with the great challenges. <laughs> Largely because 
You have to have an honest and transparent system for the way people have a path to citizenship. I think people who come and spend 10, 12, 14 years to become a citizen, they resent this more than perhaps some around this table. Two, we need to streamline the asylum process and hire more judges. And we should make it clear, just because you come with a story about how things are bad in your country does not qualify you to stay here and wait six months for a hearing. That needs to be tightened up. Three, build a wall. Simply put, build a wall. Republicans capit will capitulate there. You have to capitulate on some other things so we can get a plan. Yeah. You put more law enforcement there. And finally, you have to invest in this hemisphere. From weather to drugs, you have wrecked a hemisphere that is right right in our own backyard. And you can only expect and imagine because we're the greatest country in the world with the greatest freedoms, the rule of law, greatest opportunity, greatest ingenuity, the greatest sports team, the greatest food, as you say, people are gonna wanna come here. So we have to make it where their home, their land is attractive as well. This is a, this is a problem screaming out for a solution. It's right before us if everyone would just put the politics aside and do what's in the best interest of the country. But there has to be a process to get into the country. Yeah, I mean, I think that, you know, you can have these two competing thoughts the seemingly competing thoughts in your head that I'm extremely pro-immigrant. Uh, I think we self-select for really interesting people, the people who risk their lives to come here. It's part of the American gene. Having said that, part of the American gene is a respect for a line. Even immigrants, when they come here, have a problem with line cutters. So they look, they're, I mean, that's what the Democrats are now slowly learning, is that they may be betting on the wrong horse in terms of future votes when immigrants come here and immediately embrace the American system of justice, of order, you know, of civil society, all the things that the hard left kind of like want to abandon. There, you, you can't find a woke Mexican. I'm sorry, it's going to be really hard, right? They're not. Gonna, there's going to be no Venezuelans who want, you know, grade school teachers to tell you about their sex life. There, it's like it ain't going to happen. But I think you know, I, I, you know, I'm just upset that you said mistress of NIMBY I love that. because that. <laughs> is the best line I've ever heard, and it makes me very angry that I didn't come up with it. But the, you're right. New Yorker, these New York politicians, they should be ecstatic that they can participate in this. This is why we have the Statue of Liberty, and yet they aren't. And you see that AOC is actually more anti-immigrant than the people than the people that she claims is uh, racist because she didn't want them in her backyard. It's pretty amazing to me, and I think that... You know, the judge is right. There's a lot of overlap here with this block and the last block in the sense that if any solutions come from people like us, it's going to be uh, deemed anti-compassionate. Meanwhile, the, an anarchic border causes hundreds of deaths and illnesses and rapes. But we're the, we're the ones who lack compassion. So, again, it's the same problem. It depends on where it comes from. People have to let go of their ego and the tribalism of their own party in order to solve this problem. We might be too far gone. Amen. If I can let go of my ego, anybody can. Yes, that's true. It's, well, <laughs> how can you even hold on too. to that thing? <laughs> All right, coming up, Coast Guard members who put their lives on the line to save others during Hurricane Ian and are congratulated by President Biden are now about to be terminated because of their vaccine status. Hi, everyone, I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not gonna miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.